Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we'll be planting Lili Molina, a Hawaiian Tara variety, on an Ole Moon. So planting on an Ole Moon is considered poor according to the Hawaiian Moon calendar. Just wanted to try it out, see if planting on an Ole Moon will actually be, I guess, less fruitful. So here I marked um, with the X's where I'm planning on planting the hoodie. They're about one ha'ili mile apart. So according to the Hawaiian moon calendar, there are seven ole moons. Four of the ole moons, ole kukai, ole kulua, ole kukolu, and ole pau or ole kupau, uh, come before the full moon. And then the three ole's after the full moon are Ole Kukahi, Ole Kulua, and Ole Pau. So for these uh, Lili Molina, these type of taro, I picked uh, Ole Kukahi before the full moon to plant them. So for these Lili Molina, uh, these Hawaiian variety type of taro, I'm gonna be planting them in a kind of dry tropical environment and then tomorrow on Orikulua I'm gonna plant the same taro variety in the back of a valley where it's a more wetter environment and where it rains every day I mean, Elima, Lili, Molina. Kanu ia makapo o ole kukai. Ay ole ole kulu akeia. So here I just laid some papaya branches. Later I'm going to cover it with mulch. And the papaya branches are just to kind of discourage the chickens from digging up all the mulch. So after final layer of mulch, just gonna wet it down a bit and gonna call it a day. So these are some Lili Molina Kalo grown on Oliku Kai. And so I'm gonna grow them or I'm gonna water them, sorry, twice a day and eventually do an update video. So here we have some huge Lili Molina Huli that I've been soaking in 
some water mixed with FAA or fish amino acid this hoodie are the biggest hoodie I've ever seen right now I'm going to show you how I prep the hoodie basically removing the outer sheaths until there's only two petioles left So I found that when I mix fish amino acid with some water and I let my huli sit in that solution for at least one to three days, good root growth will start happening. And I found out that planting kalo or planting your huli in a dry land type of environment, it's better if the kalo has established its roots not too long though I found that if it's kind of too long they tend to die off but just enough so that they're just emerging like these hoodie here So normally I remove the keiki or the oha from the makua but in this case I felt like I'm just gonna leave it and hopefully it grows together in a way. So here I'm just adding in 3DD molina to so the two rolls of kai uli uli I have. Hopefully adding some biodiversity to the mala. On the other side of this section of the mala here, I have the kai uli uli growing, the two rows. So for these huli, they're spaced out a little bit more than one ha'ilima, but I think for the size of the huli, I kind of like the spacing. Hello, All finished planting, we'll call it a day. So here are the Lili Molina after one week, grown in the back of a valley on the Ole Kulua. And here are the Lili Molina grown in a dry tropical environment on Ole Kukai.
Well, mahalo nui for watching. For more videos like this, don't forget to like and subscribe.